I really enjoy fish tacos and for this recipe I'm using whiting. It's a beautiful fish, it's sustainable, plentiful and it's absolutely delicious and good value. So if you go to your local fishmonger, they'll fill it, they'll pin bone it, remove the skin and all I've asked my local fish uh, monger to do is just to cut it into small little pieces like that. So that's our lovely whiting there. So uh, I'm gonna show you a nice uh, little crumb for it, flour egg and breadcrumb, we call that pane. We have some breadcrumbs here, we're gonna put in some lovely spices. So the first spice I'm gonna use is some Cajun spice. So there's a nice little bit of a kick, so I'm gonna put in two teaspoonfuls of this. And then to give really nice color, some turmeric. So just one teaspoonful of the turmeric. That goes in there. The turmeric's a very strong kind of spice, but gives lovely color and flavor. So I'm using white sesame seeds in this, which I really like the texture of sesame seeds. I use these a lot in, in lots of recipes. And then the black sesame seeds. And then all you do is just get a spoon and you mix this through. So we're using whiting, but you could use haddock, you could use hake, they'll all work beautiful for this recipe. But whiting is a set. A good value and plenty fun and a lovely kind of um these are kind of like homemade fish fingers so your children can enjoy this because it's so important that we keep and enjoy and eat more fish because you know how hard the fishermen work but it's a very very uh, healthy food so it is now and you can make these actually in bulk and you can freeze them so that's what the crumbs look like there they'll keep in your fridge for up to a week and you can freeze them we have a, a little bit of flour couple of quality assured eggs just with a little bit of milk and then what we're going to do is flour egg and breadcrumbs so there is a technique in doing this you have to put the um the little strips of whiting into flour first so then you shake it off like that and then into your beaten egg and then we're, what we do then is we literally just completely coat them in the egg wash and that helps them the breadcrumbs to stick on the proper name for this, the chefy name is called panne. If you've ever seen that in a recipe, that's what it means. So the key into doing this is to keep one hand just in the egg wash and one hand in the breadcrumbs so that your hands are not covered in uh, breadcrumbs. So literally just completely cover the fish. So if you just look at the technique, what I'm doing here. So I'm completely covering this all over. And then what you do is you just literally place that and then just gently press that. And that's your little piece of fish. Very simple, very easy, and absolutely uh, delicious, these crumbs. Uh, you could put curry powder, you could put harissa. I'm using some Cajun spice, which will give a lovely bit of a kick to this. And you see, whiting is a very delicate, uh, and it's not a strong taste in fish in any way, so this will give lovely flavor to it. You could put lemon zest into that, and you could just put sesame seeds if you want to. So if you look at the technique, this is in the egg wash, and this is dry here, and we're nearly done there. Just gently pat that. Now see the way I have extra breadcrumbs? You can certainly put them in a container and you can freeze them and just, uh, you know, that you can use them again. But remember that you've had raw fish in them. So always wash your hands after touching any kind of fish. And then what we're gonna do next is we're going to literally cook these and make a little salsa. It's as easy as that. So I find the easiest way to cook these is in the fryer here. So we have a small little fryer. Uh, I'm going to literally uh, pop them in here and they don't take long and then we're going to make a very simple salsa. So I'll just do a couple of these here. Now you can shallow fry them or you can bake them off in the oven. And if you're going to bake them off in the oven, I just won't crowd the fryer, you can put them in at 180 and on parchment paper and they'll take about 12 to 14 minutes. Now when you're deep frying something like this, or you can shallow fry them, I should have said that, kitchen paper, so that when they're cooked, you can remove them. So I just keep that just beside uh, the fryer. Okay, a little salsa. We're gonna use some lovely cherry tomatoes. So we're just gonna cut this just here, and these are Irish grown cherry tomatoes, which are vine cherry tomatoes, which are lovely and sweet and full of flavor. And we're gonna put some red onion into this. So you can pick up the red onion. I'm not going to do that, but I'm actually going to put, not all of it, probably just half, because I'm just doing one portion for the video. So just curve in your fingers. The onion is peeled, and then just slice it really, really nice and thinly. So just like that. Yeah, that should be enough, I think. And then just literally kind of sprinkle that all in there. Now we're going to prepare our avocado. Just before we do the avocado, we're going to have a little look. Well, if you want to come in, we can just see the little... You can call them gushons. That's exactly what they are. So I think the seeds add great texture to it. So I'm gonna give that just another minute. So when you're looking for your avocado, make sure that it's nice and ripe. 
but it's really really important so when you press it that it's lovely and soft and if it's anyway firm don't worry just leave it in your kitchen for a few days don't uh, keep it in the fridge perfect using a spoon then is the easiest way to remove this and then just keep it flat and then what we're going to do is we're literally just going to cut this into nice big cubes now it's really really ripe this and you know another ingredient that works really well is fresh mango works really well so it just shows you like you know you get a lot of different flavors yeah even the little uh, goujons the whiting goujons on their own are absolutely delicious so you don't always you kind of have to do the salts and that so we're going to get lots of lovely flavor in this we're going to get a little bit of lovely rapeseed oil we're going to get a little bit of sweet chili sauce i'm just going to lift up my that's them there the whiting and I'll open one in a moment just to show you that they're beautifully cooked. This is a little touch of sweet chili sauce. I really like this. I don't want it too hot. And then one of my favorite ingredients is lime. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a little bit of lime zest into some mayonnaise and then we're gonna put some also into this. So we're getting kind of two hits of lime. So this is just some regular mayonnaise. You could use some yogurt if you want to, but I really like this. So now, some lovely lime zest. Now this salsa can be made you know, a couple of hours ahead. Your whiting can be crumbed, so the whole thing can be made ahead. And that's what people love when they're cooking and want that they can make that's a beautiful lime. So I'm just gonna put half the lime in this and then half in the mayonnaise. Beautiful and fresh. And then a little touch of salt. And we have some lovely fresh basil. So just a couple of little kind of leaves of basil here. You could use coriander, I didn't have any, but you can use coriander. So we're just gonna roll this up and then we're gonna cut this nice and thin. Just watch the fingers. Yeah. And that's gonna go then in and top of your salsa. Then we just season this up with a little touch of salt and then mix it all together. So you have your lovely cherry tomatoes in there, your red onion, you're getting really nice flavor, color, texture. And if you can, leave that for maybe half an hour. The flavor will actually improve at uh, no end. Right, so for our lovely tacos, we're gonna get a little bit of salad. And then I'm just gonna show you now just these lovely little kind of like flatbreads. So they're gonna work really well with this and then our mayonnaise. So the mayonnaise, then we need the other half of the lime. So just squeeze that in and this is a really lovely juicy lime. So just mayonnaise, some lime zest, mix this all together. And again, this will keep really, really well. And if you want to, you can do, you can make this with wraps. You know the wraps that you get like for making kind of like a, like if you want to kind of like a wrap, you know, any of those tortilla wraps, anything like that. So these are lovely little goujons. And what I like to do is just put them onto some kitchen paper, just very gently. So they're lovely and crispy. And then I'm just gonna show you now, Mella, just to test when they're cooked. So just get, keep maybe three of that, this one here. That's perfectly cooked, lovely and moist, and it doesn't take long at all. And that will give so much flavor. So we're gonna build this up, and then it's ready to be enjoyed and to be served. So just with a little bit of salad, I'm using some baby jam or cause. Uh, it doesn't, uh, has a lovely kind of like a delicate flavor and works really well with this. And then just our mayonnaise, just over the back, I've just literally just on the griddle pan, just just kind of uh, warm these through, just to kind of freshen them up. Now, some lovely salad. So this is where the nice texture comes in here. And then these gorgeous whiting, which are lovely and fresh. And as I say, it's sustainable. It's a lovely fish. It's a delicate fish. Yeah, you could make them, you know, before I cooked them, put them into on a tray into uh, some um, cling film and parchment paper between each layer and pop them into your freezer. So it's definitely worth getting extra of the whiting and making these ahead. Cause look at how much breadcrumbs I've left. And then our lovely salsa. So we're just gonna literally just arrange this just all over this. So it's lovely and fresh. And then just with this, a little bit of parsley. Just getting very chefy here. Get some fresh herbs, a little bit of flat leaf parsley. And then I like to serve some extra lime with this. So just literally, just a little piece of the lime. You can just squeeze that there. And there's my lovely whiting tacos with that avocado and tomato salsa. I think I'll put a little bit more avocado. That's lovely and creamy, so it is. 
for me it's a lovely lovely recipe that i think everyone will enjoy the family there's lots of interesting flavors and even those lovely white ingredients on their own are delicious with a baked potato with a little bit of salad you know with even some chips yeah, some oven chips so enjoy this very very simple recipe your fishmonger will do all the work he'll fill it pin bone the whiting for you and all you have to do is just uh, cook it up and enjoy it thank you so much